The key factors that influence mass adoption of electric vehicles is high upfront cost and limited range. Of course, electric vehicle companies are working hard to address these issues in their next generation designs. It is already a sizable step for EVs in comparison to an internal combustion engine to raise efficiency from 20-30% up to 90% for the electric vehicle motor. Tesla managed to increase efficiency of the Model 3 motor by switching from AC induction motor to permanent magnet switched reluctance AC motor. This was one of the factors that allowed to increase range of Model 3 in comparison to Model S by about 40-30%. to Is there another technological step that will allow EV companies to take it even further? I think this is the technology called axial flux motors. How does axial flux motor work? What is the difference between conventional radial flux motor and axial flux motor? The main difference is direction of magnetic flux. In the radial flux motor, the flux is 90 degrees perpendicular to the axis of the rotation. In the axial flux motor, effectively flux is parallel to the axis of rotation. Compared to traditional radial flux electric motors, the axial flux motor are more effective in electromagnetic sense. When a straight coil of wire is fed by a DC current, it generates nearly uniform magnetic field, similar to a bar magnet. When feeding the same coil by a sinusoidal current, the magnetic field produced will be oriented in the function of the current sign, positive or negative flow. The interaction between these poles and the permanent magnetic poles of the rotor surface is responsible for the torque production of the permanent magnet motors, radial or flaxial. The electromagnetic flux linkage in the air gap will create mechanical torque on the rotor shaft. The orientation of magnetic field of axial flux motor is different from radial flux machine as the stator core and their copper wires are positioned differently. The picture shows the direction of magnetic fields for both topologies, which also explains their name. In the radial flux machine, the air gap flux is radial and the conductors are axial, where in axial flux machine, the air gap is axial and the conductors are radial. The larger the surface area of the air gap of a certain dimension of a motor, the more torque it can produce. This means that for the axial flux machine, the magnets and therefore the useful air gap reaches further from the central axis of rotation. It has a larger lever for the axis of rotation than in the radial flux machine, yielding more torque on the same axis for the same electromagnetic flux density between rotor and stator. Analyzing the air gap surface areas and the moment arms, we can derive that the torque in a radial flux machine is proportional to the second power of the machine diameter. In the axial flux machine, however, it is proportional to the third power of the diameter. A comparison can be made with effectiveness of a disc brakes comparing to a drum brakes. In this application, it's also a friction surface between the rotating and fixed elements that decide how much torque can brake generate, or how large the setup needs to be for a certain amount of torque. In this sense, drum brakes are analogous to the radial flux machine, but we know the disc brakes make better use of the available space to slow down the car. What are the benefits of the axial flux motors, you may ask? Well, there are quite a few. First, it has very high power to weight ratio. Second, the coils of the axial flux motor can be very easily cooled and also it has much less magnetic content. It would be much easier to manufacture and would use much less materials to produce the same amount of power in comparison with the radial flux motor. It is expected that axial flux motor can provide up to 20% more range in comparable electric vehicles such as Tesla Model 3. What are the negatives of the axial flux motor? The first negative, if you have a larger diameter, rotor will have much more inertia. It is considered that axial flux motors are more difficult to manufacture and more complex to design. Number of companies are working to overcome those difficulties. And one of the examples is Infinitum Electric. 
They use data made out of using PCB technology to overcome the difficulties in manufacturing the wound-up status. This makes the axial flux modem even more compact and easier to manufacture. And at the end, interesting fact for you just to finish off. The Koenigsegg supercar hypercar maker had decided to combine both axial and radial flux motor together in one and they made a motor called Quark. A Quark motor combines the benefit of both axial and radial flux motors. This development resulted in a class leading torque to power to RPM and to weight matrix motor. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is all for now from me. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.